Hello everyone, in this video, we will discuss about data abstraction and encapsulation in C++. First of all, what is data abstraction? Data abstraction is a technique of showing the users only the necessary detail and hiding the complex and complicated implementation detail from the user. It is the process of providing only the essential details to the outside world and hiding the internal details. Let's suppose you want to compute the square root of a number in C++ program. So for that you can make a call to the SQRT function without knowing what algorithm the function used to compute the square root of given values. Similarly, we can use the POW function to compute the power of a number without knowing the algorithm the function follows. Assess specifiers are the main pillar of implementing abstraction in C++. We can use assess specifiers to enforce restrictions on class members. For example, members declared as public in a class can be assessed from anywhere in the program. Members declared as private in a class can be assessed only from within the class. They are not allowed to assess from any part of the code outside the class. We can easily implement abstraction using the assess specifiers. In C++ data abstraction can be achieved by two ways. The first way is by using classes and the second way is by using header files. An abstraction can be achieved with the help of classes. As we know a class is a group of all the data members and member functions that bind them all into a single unit. A class is responsible for determining which data member is to be visible and accessible outside the class and which is not with the help of assess specifiers. Let's see the example. We have a class ABC and class having three private data members X, Y and sum. Then class having two public member functions with void get function input the value of x and y with add function compute the sum of x and y and then finally display sum with the help of cout and class body and with the closing curly braces and semicolon then inside the main function create the object of a class. How to create the class object? Name of the class and name of the object. A1 is the object of ABC class. Now with the help of object and dot operator we can assess the public member functions of a class. A1 dot get function with the get function input the value of x and y then a1 dot add function with add function display the sum of x and y now run this code after the execution of this code first of all a1 dot get get function call then input the value of x and y value of x is 12 and value of y is 30 then after that call the add function that display the sum of x and y in this example abstraction is achieved using classes class abc contain the private data member x y and sum private data members are accessible only with the help of public member functions of same class. 
Next is abstraction in hydrophiles. Abstraction can also be achieved using hydrophiles. For example, the POW function used to calculate the power of a number without knowing which algorithm function used to calculate the power. We can use the POW function in a code after importing the necessary header files. We can say header file hide the implementation detail from the user. If we want to compute the square root of the number, the function is SQRT function. This function is used to compute the square root of a number without knowing which algorithm function used to compute the square root of a number. We can use the SQRT function in a code after importing the necessary header file. So the header file hide the implementation detail from the user. Now in this case, both are the mathematical functions. And if you want to use mathematical functions in the program, then we have to include math.h header file. Let's see the example. C out insertion operator then use power function power function takes two argument the first argument is the base and second argument is the exponent now run this code after the execution of this code the output is 9 base is 3 and exponent is 2 3 raised to power 2 the result is 9 and if we want to compute the square root then we have sqrt function sqrt function takes one argument only now in this case the output is square root of 25 is 5 as we can see from the above code we can use the sqrt function and power function in our code after importing the necessary header file that is math.h even without knowing which algorithm the power function and sqrt function uses to compute the square root and power of a number next is data encapsulation in c++ encapsulation is a process of grouping the data members and member function into a single unit known as a class. We can say wrapping similar data members and function inside a class. Encapsulation is used to achieve data hiding. Encapsulation is not itself data hiding. The main difference between data hiding and encapsulation is that Data hiding focus on restricting the access to data used in a program to assure data security. But the data encapsulation focus on wrapping the data within a class to give simplified perspective to the end user. The data under data hiding is always under the private access specifiers and is inaccessible but the data under encapsulation may be private public or protected this is the main difference between data hiding and encapsulation in c++ let's see the example of encapsulation in c++ first of all we have a class abc and abc class having two public data members lnb and one public parameterized constructor is there that initialize the data members of a class 
L is equal to L1 and B is equal to L2. And after that we have area function that return the area of the rectangle return L into B and class body end with the closing curly braces and semicolon now inside the main function create the object of a class ABC is the name of the class and A1 is the name of the object when the object of class is created then constructor called automatically value 12 is copied into L1 and value 10 is copied into L2 and the value of L is 12 and value of B is 10 then after that call the area function to compute the area of the rectangle how to call name of the object dot operator then name of the function now run this code after the execution of this code the output is 120 area of rectangle is 12 into 10 120 this is a code to compute area of the rectangle to calculate an area two data members are there l and b and one member function is there area function that means we bundled these variables and function inside a single class that is abc and variables and function can be assessed from other classes as well in this case the data members as well as member functions are public this is not data hiding this is only encapsulation we are just keeping similar code together people often consider encapsulation as data hiding but that is not entirely true encapsulation refer to the bundling of related field and method together this can be used to achieve data hiding encapsulation itself is not a data hiding the data under encapsulation may be private public or protected but data under data hiding is always under the private access specifier and is inaccessible. This is all about data abstraction and encapsulations in C++.